Now the first thing you want to do is jack up the vehicle. You want enough uh, working room and you want to be safe at the same time. So place it on jack stands and toward the passenger side, of course right here you can see engine oil. This is your oil pan. Now we have a small leak so I'm also going to be replacing this uh, drain bolt. If you're not sure how to find the correct drain bolt, just go to Dorman.com, these guys right here and just put in your vehicle's information. You can get the drain bolt correct for your vehicle along with washers. So let's go ahead and drain the oil. You'll also need an oil pan. We'll change the oil filter and uh, we'll be in good shape. Now if this bolt is a little too tight, you can't remove it, get yourself a carpenter's hammer and just tap the wrench and it'll come loose very, very quickly. So the oil has finished draining, we'll clean up the oil pan. Now when you tighten up these drain bolts, don't make them too tight because this pan is aluminum. You can easily uh, cross thread it, then you have a bigger problem on your hands. So just be, that's plenty. You don't want to over torque these drain bolts. So once you wrap up with the oil pan, if you look toward the left and slightly up, this is on the passenger side you'll find your uh, oil filter. Now in this case, it's so tight I can't remove it with my hand, so I'll be using an oil filter removal tool. And once you have everything hooked up, in this case, to a 3H drive ratchet, you just go ahead and loosen up the filter. Now, a lot of times, it can be really hard to remove these filters, and if that's the case, just get yourself one of these uh, removal tools because You'll save a ton of time and you also won't kill your wrist. Okay. Now you just want to double check that the old gasket came off with the filter. If it did not, just go back on the engine block and remove it. We'll coat this new gasket here with a little bit of oil, reinstall it, put oil in the motor, and uh, we'll be in good shape. So this is just fresh oil and just lightly coat the top. Of the gasket. And as you can see I cleaned off the entire area just make sure you get all of the old oil off and we'll go ahead and, and install the new oil filter. Once the filter makes contact with the mount you just need to turn it one full turn. So it just made contact so I'll turn it one full turn. In this case, we need to add around 4.3 quarts. So I'm just going to remove the dipstick, give it a quick cleaning here. And let's see the level. And it looks like we're right on the money, so we're in good shape.